Hey everyone, um, it's going to be a short video, not a toy review or anything. Um, I was on a Discord call with a friend and I saw on a news alert that uh, Bray Wyatt has passed away. And for anyone who doesn't know, uh, Bray Wyatt is a WWE wrestler um, and he is a huge reason as to why I'm into wrestling be honest. Um, I grew up a wrestling fan. My mom was a wrestling fan before me. Um, and a lot of my early favorites in wrestling were Razor Ramon and, and uh, Macho Man, Mr. Perfect, um, Bret Hart, uh, Dusty Rhodes. These were my favorites as a kid because through my mom I had VHS tapes of them and I had action figures of them. And even though they weren't active wrestlers, um, it gave me an early love of them. And meanwhile, the wrestlers that were around when I was a little kid, I also adored like your, uh, your John Cena's and your Booker T's, your Shawn Michaels, your Undertaker's. Um, but... When I really became a wrestling fan and knew that for life this thing would, would have me and have my love and have my appreciation and have my fascination, it was around 2012, 2013, 2014. Um, that's when you had CM Punk as world champion. That's when you had The Shield showing up. That's when you had The New Day forming. But most importantly for me, that was when you had the Wyatt family. You had Bray Wyatt, Luke Harper, and Eric Rowan. And that trio, man. Like, I'm a teenager at the time. And, like, I'm used to wrestlers being macho. They're being, they're, they're action stars, you know? But then you'd have Bray Wyatt in his rocking chair and it'd be a whisper. And he painted this scenery for you. The only wrestler I can think of who kind of had that ability. It was like Jake's, Jake the Snake Roberts. Another guy who, um, at the end of the day, didn't get everything he was probably deserved as a wrestler. But Bray has always been one of my favorites, going back to when I was a teenager. And to find out he's, he, he's passed away, it's really weird. Because like, here's the thing, right? I didn't, I didn't know the guy. But um, I guess that's part of the beauty of, of pro wrestling is because they're real people and because they're these people they portray is so similar to their real personalities. It's almost like you you get to know know the people and not the characters, you know. And. Uh, It's funny, I've done a video like this before, right? I did I did a video the the day Scott Hall passed away. Um, because Scott Hall was another one of my childhood favorites. But uh, when, I, when I did that video, it was sad, and I wanted to show how much I appreciate him, but it wasn't... It didn't feel like this. It felt more like there was a, a distance, you know? It's really funny because I was watching Kyle Peterson talk about Terry Funk and saw how emotional he was getting. And the, Terry Funk just passed away yesterday. His video for Terry Funk just went up today. And he was getting so emotional about it. And I was thinking, that's a different type of resonance. And it made me realize all the wrestlers that I've loved that had passed away, they were either wrestlers who their heydays were before I was born or they died before I really got to know them. You know, like your Macho Mans, like your Dusty Rhodes. Um, to some extent, you're Scott Hall because Scott Hall, like I was born in 99. His peak was around the time period where I was just being born and, 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 and growing. Um, so with all these people, it sounds like there's a degree of separation 
But I got to thinking while I was watching that Kyle Pearson video, what happens when it's someone I grew up with? What, what happens when it's a wrestler who, um, who I have that connection to, where it's like I was a, a younger person and watching them and they helped influence what I liked in wrestling. And while I was watching the video, I was thinking more like what happens when like John Cena dies or what happens when uh, Batista or um, Shawn Michaels even dies. Like people from like the Ruthless Aggression era. But even then, that, that wasn't really when I fell in love with wrestling. It really was that kind of tell into PG going into like this new current era we're in. And that's why my favorites included the Wyatts um, and AJ Styles and Brazongo, I, I I hate that like they're gone, um, like just in terms of not performing. Um, but Bray dying is like Bray Wyatt is legitimately one of the single greatest wrestlers to ever live. He is a revolutionary force. He made characters unlike anyone had ever seen before, and he was constantly hamstrung by the company he worked for. I know that wrestling fans and wrestlers going forward, Bray is going to be a touchstone. He's going to be like a Jake the Snake. He's going to be like a Gorgeous George. He was someone who redefined what a wrestling character could be and what you could do within the medium. I hate that he didn't receive a lot of the accolades he probably deserved. But he is, he's left his mark. And, um... The night after Elimin Elimination Chamber 2016, when Bray won the championship for the first time, and he came out and everyone was chanting, You deserve it. That was one of my favorite moments as a wrestling fan. I was 16 years old when I came out, man. And it's like, I think about it, that's eight years ago now. Um, actually, I, I pulled this guy out. Um, I didn't have a lot of wrestling figures as a kid. Very few of my childhood, even the ones I had in childhood, a lot of them didn't survive. Um, I got this guy when I was like 13, 14 years old. I think this is like... Wave 30, Elite Bray Wyatt. Still my favorite Bray. You know, as much as I liked The Fiend, I, uh, I always liked NXT cult leader Bray the most. It's like this guy, one of my Bret Hart's, and a Bobby Heenan. Those are my, those are my childhood wrestling survivors. It sucks because a few years ago we lost Brody Lee and we're losing Bray Wyatt tonight. And uh, I don't know the guy. I don't. I, it feels kind of ridiculous that I'm I'm legitimately like trying not to get emotional, but it's it's with wrestling. It really is so much more personal. It's so much more emotional than a movie can be, or a show can be, or a comic book can be. It's so... You lose yourself more in it. So I'm going to end this off. It's, it, it's gone long enough. Um, I want to thank Bray Wyatt for everything he did. I want to thank him for helping me fall in love with wrestling. For helping so many people fall in love with wrestling. And... Um, you know, I, I hope his family the best. Um, yeah. Hope everyone has a good night. I just wanted to make this video. And, uh, yeah. Bray Wyatt, one of the greatest of all time.